Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So today I've got a package from New Craft Day. Uh, the lovely Anna at newcraftday.com um, asked me if I would like to choose some products to show on my channel that I thought uh, everybody would like to see. And I said, yeah, great. Um, I have worked with them before and I've been happy with the products. So yeah, I picked out some products that I thought you might like to see. So let's get into them and have a look and see what we've got. I have opened the bag to save a little bit of time. So we have a diamond painting package. We have, whoops, some, oh, look at those, look at those. We'll look at those in a second. I think you can see what they are. And then a very interesting package, which I thought, oh wow, just absolutely love this. So what shall we look at first? Let's look at these first, the smallest, let's start with the smallest first. Okay, so they have started doing packs of these tweezers. And when I saw the colours I thought, wow, you know what I'm like, a bit of a magpie. And they have pink. And they have purple, look at that. And they have blue, well, aqua blue. So let's take these out of the packets. Oh, well, and they are, oh, oh they're quite a nice light uh, feel to them as well. You've got your rounded tips. So if you're not wanting to use the really sharp tweezers that uh, you're likely to stab yourself with, or you're wanting children to be able to use them, then they're a little bit... Uh, safer shall we say they still come with their little tips but it's like oh it's like an ombre effect look we've got like a a purpley pink going down to a more pale pink at this end wow and they're like they're not shiny they're like a matte finish so that makes them easier to hold as well sometimes if you get them too shiny your hands will slip on them but these are a nice matte finish and they're quite light as well so yeah, I like that one. Let me give it a quick measure. I'm into measuring everything these days. So from, let's take the end off from the tip to end. Let's have a look and see where we are. So we have, uh, they are 11 and a half centimetres, which is four and three quarter inches. So they're like a fairly standard tweezer size. But I just thought because they've got the rounded ends, um, I may be able to get things off my canvases without stabbing too much through my canvas. <laughs> and then we've got our lovely, like, pale, powdery, bluey purple. Again, with your lovely rounded tips there. And they're not quite so graduated. Oh, I don't know, though. Looking through the camera, you can see a little bit of graduation in the colour there. And again, a nice matte finish. Okay, and then the aqua bluey green ones. So I just thought it was a nice. They actually do the ones with the rounded, the bent tips as well, which I think is wonderful. So yeah, again, that one's uh, your yeah by rounded tips. I mean the ones where it curves up. You know, you have like a little bit of a curve on the end, a bit like pixie shoes. <laughs> that one I think that one's a pretty flattish colour I don't think that one has got an ombre effect on it I think that one's just the same colour all along but again matte but really nice to hold actually nicely finished on the edges can't feel any rough edges so you're not going to cut yourself there I would say the weight of them um, is between the ones that you get in the kits that are like the really uh, bendable cheapy ones um, there's a little bit of give in these, but that isn't going to bend. I'm using quite a bit of force there. But they're not as heavy as the ones that have the real pointed tips. So if you have trouble holding heavy tweezers, if you do use your tweezers all the time, then these are quite good to use. Uh, quite a nice item to have. And they were, let me grab, right, all of this has come in uh, dollars, as uh, I looked at it on the website. So for the set of three, it was $2.88, which is amazing. So the less than a dollar a piece for um, for your tweezers. And as I say, they do do the other set as well. So I would go and check those out because I think they're really, really good. 
Um, when I saw them, I just thought, oh, it was the colour that drew me to them. I have to say it was the colour that I saw. I, I like those. They look quite nice. I might have to get some of those. If you do check out uh, newcraftday.com, there are some special offers on at the moment. Now, you will have to check, obviously, for your country where you live um, and the date that you watch the videos to what the offers are. But at the moment, they are showing um, across the top um, when you go onto the website. Spend $50 to get two free gifts. Um, and it does say free shipping on orders over $50 without any tax. Now, as I say, because it's in dollars, I'm not sure if the free shipping or whatever is worldwide. But just go on and check out um, and give them a message as if you're unsure about anything. But uh, yeah, there always seems to be special offers on the, uh, the site. So it's always worth just checking uh, before you put your order in to make sure you're getting any discounts or any special offers or whatever that you do. Um, they do quite often pop up with different coupons and things to collect as well, which is really good. OK, so I'm just going to put those in one bag and then they will go downstairs into my little craft trolley. And then I can choose in it every day which colour I would like to use, whether I feel like a pink or a purple or a bluey green day. <laughs> Okay, so let's have a look at this item next because you can sort of half see it. Now this is something I've not seen before and I don't like trying new things. Oops, I can get into it. Now come on, where's the end? Oh, there it is. Look at that. It looks like it's on that side there, but it's not. It's on this side, just to confuse me. <laughs> okay, and you know I do like my special drill project. So this is like, uh, it's a hanging uh, sort of whatnot <laughs> and we have three pockets to put things in and I just thought that is superb. So not seen one before, we've got our nice smooth, there's no rough edges on that at all, dowel and that will just go through the end there. We have our, ooh, let's have a look at the piece of cord. Uh, that's actually a ribbon. Uh, it's a satin, cross between a satin and a grey grain ribbon. More satiny, I think. Uh, it's not quite too uh, so thick. But you would just literally tie a knot round there, tie a knot round there, and then that's just going to hang up. And then you've got pockets. And who doesn't need pockets? <laughs> it next to your craft room or your craft desk or wherever it is that you are and you can hang it up and then you can just reach out with it oh there's my toolkit that's what I wanted and oh there's my drills there what I needed and oh I could put my new tweezers in them <laughs> but I love pockets I love storage of any kind and I've just noticed look at this these are actually right to the edges look on these pockets they're decorated let me just take the dowel out of the way it's going to be banging and getting on my nerves. But yeah, look, so there's a nice gusset in the pockets. Pockets there, look at that. And the pattern follows through. So if you've got the pockets full, you've still got your pattern going through onto your edges. Oh, I like that one best. Look at that one. Got all that design there. But yeah, we've got three beautiful butterflies going down. And then just an extra little one there that hasn't got any diamonds on it. But I mean, to be fair, you could use your magic glue from Craft Buddy and put some extra diamonds on there. And you could use an iridescent glitter and put it around these bits as well. If it's iridescent, it would actually still show the blue through from the other side. Oh, I just think that's fab. But yeah, just to hang on your wall, just your little butterfly pockets. Oh, pockets. I love pockets. <laughs> I'm already thinking about all the things that I can fill this up with. But yeah, I say I do love my special drills and I do love trying different things. And if it's practical, all well and good. Okay, so what else did we get with it? We got our toolkit, as we saw, which is your starter toolkit, your pen, your bow and your wax, which is fine. 
And now a little packet of special drills. But yeah, look at that. We've got uh, all the different colours on the butterflies. Wow. Let's give it a quick measure before we look at the drills. See how big. We'll do a full measure from top to bottom. So it is 51 centimetres, which is 20 inches long. By, oop, <laughs> tape measures alive by uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. 19 centimetres, which is seven and a half inches. And the little pockets will measure the inside part of the pocket. So we'll go from where the stitching is so that we just get the inside measurement is 13 and a half centimetres, which is five and a quarter inches by 17 centimetres, which is six and three quarter inches. And the little gusset on here. So it does taper off to the bottom. So although you can put something quite thick at this end, it will taper off. So it's not like you can get um, a big chunky book or something in there. Uh, it will have to not be quite so thick at the bottom, but it is three centimetres, is that? Yep, three centimetres, which is about one and a quarter inches wide. So yeah, that's just that was brilliant. Let's see how long our bit of ribbon is. I mean, you can always add any other bit of ribbon or cord or string or whatever you wanted to do, or you don't even need to do that. You know, if you've got somewhere um, that you can just hang it up without using the ribbon, then that's great. Okay, so let's see. See if my tape measure is long enough to measure this because it's quite uh, long. We are six. 66 centimetres which is 26 inches so nearly the full length of my tape measure is that a good piece of ribbon there I'll pop that in there so I don't lose it and pop that there and let's have a look at these girls really pleased with this it's actually you know when you see things on web on websites I'm not brilliant at looking at something and reading measurements I need to see them and this is just a nice little size and um, it's bigger than I expected the pockets are definitely deeper than I expected I didn't realize that it had like a gusset in the side so that you can get extra in always handy as a gusset <laughs> okay so we have what have we got we've got eight different colors wow okay so we've got oh look it's that lovely blue these are going to match in with my, with my uh, tweezers, look. <laughs> okay, we've got the lovely blue. We've got a black, just your standard black, which is fine. A hot pink, yay! Special drills and hot pink. What more could I want? They look a little bit... Do they look bigger than those purples to you? Is it just my... It must be my eyes. They look the same in the camera. Uh, then you're a very nice deep purple. Oh. A lovely pop of bright orange, a very pale lemony gold, some little purple marquees there, all faceted, and then for your body of your butterflies, we've got a teardrop in red, faceted large, and we only need three. We've got four. Yay! We've got extras. I do like me extras. And now I've got the storage sorted out. I like extras even more because I've got somewhere to put them. Okay, so I do like that. Very, very pretty. Okay, so I shall pop that one in there and we'll fold that back up like that and just pop that to one side a moment. And we'll have a look at the diamond painting. Okay, which one did I get? Which one did I get? Have a look. Uh, oops! Oh, it's very close to the edge. That was lucky. I didn't cut too much, otherwise I might have cut through it. All right. So, oh, this is a very soft canvas. This is nice. Oh, look at this! Oh, and it's in bags as well. Okay, so we've got our little starter toolkit again, pen, butt, and wax, and we have a lovely little bright summery painting with daisies. But look at that. Wow, and it's got 20 colours. 
key cards both sides and DMC numbers as well. And it's a little folded drill. Drill? <laughs> Full drill square. <laughs> Just give it a bit of a flat. It's a dill. <laughs> They're not daffodils. They're daisies. Um, I think it's with me talking about daisy change the other day. I thought, oh. I would just love a painting with daisies. I think they're real happy little chaps. They just pop up all over. And unless you're a gardener with a lawn that you like to keep pristine, then uh, yeah, they make you smile. Like my little daisies. That's the little thumbnail, but I think you can see the picture there. Uh, we have all capital letters on our symbols, which is excellent. Uh, we've got an O, there's no Q, I, J and L are more or less the same colours, but with them being white with a black letter, I should be able to see those okay. can't see I'm going to have any problems there. I just thought, I love these pictures as well, where they're coming out of a frame. So you've got your, like, your little picture in the middle, and then you're just overlapping the frame there. And then if you put another board around the edge before you put it into a proper picture frame, it just really pops out, makes it stand out really 3D. Love that. Okay, look at the fresh bright yellows as well. So let's, oh wow, look at all these colours and it's coming baggies. I mean, how brilliant is that? It's in grip seal bags already. So it's kitted itself up. And to be fair, with it only being 20 colours, I will probably work from the bags. Oh, there's one escape there, look. There's one made a break for freedom. Let's put him on one side for a moment. Make sure none of the others have escaped. Okay, open these. And have a look at our colours. Wow. I mean, to be honest, when it's only such a small painting with not a lot of drills, to go to the trouble of putting them in little grip seal bags is amazing because it must take so much doing. So we've got our grey colour there, which will hopefully be the background. That looks like a 3865, and it is. And then what we've got there, is that 3864? No, 3756, that one. It's actually got a little bit of a greeny tint to that one. A little different colour. Okay. And another grey there. Let's have a look at the... I think these are all going to be like the highlighting. Oh, look at those colours. Wow. Okay, so that's the greys. No more greys. I've got like a very pale peachy colour. We've got that one's 3371, which is your darkish brown colour. And then just the one green. Wow. One green. You'd think there'd be a lot more, wouldn't you know? That's the only green that we've got there. Okay. And that one is 3363. And then we've got some blues for the background, three different contrasting blues, which again, if you get more than one colour, it just gives you that little bit of depth, just something else to work with. And then look at these colours for the yellows and the oranges and then the browns. Wow, this is just really it's again like it's like an ombre effect going across it because you're going from your darks to your lights and your lights to your darks and just really giving it that depth it will really pop but those colors are great but yeah uh thank you that new craft day this is lovely I like this one oh there's another one escaped there look okay, look pretty good drills as well uh can't see that there was any trash as I was going through but like all paintings I do say to know the type of drills that you've got and how good the drills are you do need to do the painting so we will do this one and then have a look and see what it's like afterwards just give it a quick measure and so we are 25 centimeters that way by ooh, roughly 25 centimetres that way, which is nine and three quarter inches. So you're just losing that little bit of a border from there. But yeah, you can get your 25 by 25 uh, of size picture frames to put them in. 
or you could get a 30 by 30 um, and then you could just mount this onto possibly a really deep uh, green card you know like a blacky green card you'd probably lift this and make it pop if you wanted it totally different you could put it on a gold backing and that would really make it shine or you can get like iridescent gold mirror card and that could uh, really make this pop it depends on your decoration and what you've got but uh, yeah that looks really good nice clear drill field as well and there is a lot of color blocking a lot of colors all the same all the way around the edge so all you multi places out there that use the uh, 15s you could get your 15 down this side <laughs> and across that top so yeah very very pretty picture okay so we've got a lovely little daisy picture we've got our wonderful storage wow which is our butterflies and then we have oh, three tweezers so thank you ever so much to anna at new crafty so sending these to me to have a look at and to show everybody if you've enjoyed seeing these then a thumbs up is always much appreciated and if you want to come back and see me possibly finish these and see what i get up to next that if you press that subscribe button and the all notifications bell next to it you'll be notified when any of my videos come out so thanks ever so much for stopping by and i do hope to see you all again soon bye for now